HBCUs are more than a band, more than a Greek life, more than education. HBCUs are a place to become. A legacy with a heritage more than 180 years, producing some of the top politicians, athletes, entertainers, teachers, and individuals. Xfinity understands and celebrates all this with a, with a collection of TV shows, movies, documentaries, and music that captures the HBCU experience. Understand this. Just say HBCU into your Xfinity voice remote, remote sorry, and learn more all about the HBCU experience. Experience. Trust me when I tell you I'm a Howard University graduate. You will never have the time of your life like I did at Howard University. Shout out to Xfinity for putting this together and having this beautiful, beautiful activation celebrating HBCUs. That's right. Learn about the sacrifices students made during the civil rights movement. Be inspired by biographies and educators who went above and beyond Kick back to the sounds of the band of the sound or the sounds of the yard with the HBCU playlist. <laughs> Best of all, it's all included with your Xfinity service right. from the yard to the end zone. Right. All right. So the classroom to the frat house, you know what I'm saying? So Xfinity has the HBCU experience covered. Xfinity, it's the ultimate in black storytelling. Restrictions apply, not available in all areas, requires Xfinity TV and on-demand. Separate charges apply to on-demand and certain streaming services. Shout out to HU. Yes, sir. Yo, when you wake up with an irresistible urge for a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, tiptoe out the house and make sure you don't wake nobody up. Why, Lo? Because I don't like sharing. Exactly. I and don't on top of to that, share. Now you got to buy three extra sandwiches. But <laughs> to do that, make sure you're using the mobile app for McDonald's. Make sure you download the app, uh, mobile order, and pay at participating McDonald's. Download and registration required. Ba da ba ba ba. Let's start. I'm the show. loving it. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin' people? Welcome back to Say Less with Kaz, Loki, Rosie, uh, Ryder. Everybody yeah. is in the house. My boy, Edin. Uh, my name is Kaz. Yo, this is Loki from uh, Howard University. Hip hop, R&B throwback every day, nine to 10 on Apple Music Hits. Catch me on Rap Life Review with Ndeska and Ebro. And catch me right here with all these comrades and I guess this month. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he's a full brain. <laughs> he's a pure bread. Introduce uh, your, your your guest for today, Rosie. My guest today is Ryder. Say hi. Oh, buddy. Say hi. Yo, buddy, he's a little teeth, horrible. But they're so, they're, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. See, don't bite the mic. Don't the mic. That's. <laughs> don't want that. <laughs> see. Don't want that. Sorry. Sorry. Jig, <laughs> <about the deep. laughs> okay, okay. what's good, brother? How you living, man? I'm good, bro. How are you? I like the sound. Was the salmon? I like oh, the salmon, salmon motif yeah. you got going on right now. Shout out to uh, Ed since 1982. I respect that guy. good. All we ask is trust. All right, Illuminati, <laughs> gang, gang. Yes. Brother Edin, stat boy, Hello. Lil Pun. What's good? Wow. Lil Pun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what we're doing, huh? <laughs> Lil Pun is we just, comedy. We just bring it back. I yes, love it. yes, yes. I, I like Little it was Pun. all better than turkey. Listen, turkey, turkey's had its run, okay? Like, let's, it had its, its run. Let's, but, let's, you know, Thanksgiving is around run. the corner, and it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to come back. I was about to say, it's it's going to come back. back soon. <laughs> It'll come back soon. Uh, but what's popping, people? Welcome to Say Less. It is Friday uh, morning. We're taping on a Friday morning. Uh, yeah, I'm never only, doing this again. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, as you can tell, I'm it's, it's never early. Never love, <laughs> Rosie is, is is in no, town. The, uh, no, it's positive, the, yeah, it's positive vibes, but I'm never Rosie's really in, town for, in the town for the moment. You know what I'm saying? I know she's out of here real soon, but we had to get it in real quick. And we're several hours uh, past a brutal, mm. brutal L. Jesus, that's how you feel? From oh. Lowe's. New York football time. Now people, L. so here's the thing. We weren't <laughs> here last week. Exactly. It's not brutal. It's, it wasn't let's, brutal. Let's, let's, it, was a, it was a heartfelt L. Let's, let's, set, the, let's set the table real quick, right? Because a, brutal, a brutal L is like us getting blown out. <laughs> well, hey, let's, let's, let's set the table real quick. Yo, because we weren't, we weren't here last brutal. week for football Sundays, right? Like usually 
this show really started and really took off. You you joined the show yeah, yeah. during football and pandemic basketball and all this type of right. stuff. So we haven't really gotten to get into our sports bag for a while. So right. if, y'all not under, if y'all don't understand, Lowe's a Giants guy. Mm-hmm. I'm a Jets guy. Right. New York football is not in the best position. Rosie, do you have a football team that you root for? <laughs> not enough. So when really. well, you, when, I said, you this, when I said game. this last week, I got ridiculed for saying like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm, well, you I'll had the Giants game with us Giants. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, Jets over Giants. All right. So in, in, in any case, New York football not have been the best in the past couple of right. years, right? So last <laughs> night, uh, well, I guess uh, Thursday night, the, the New York Giants were uh, up against the Washington football team. <laughs> and uh, I hate yeah, that name. Yeah, it's, I kind of dig Washington football team, right? It feels very soccer. feels very the like Washington Premier football Premier League team. football it club. It sounds or, like a f-ing newspaper. Uh, like we, a... We're cutting down on the cursing, Rosie. No, all right, call, oh, call it it's all good. Just bleep it. Um, but the Washington football team were going up against, uh, they were going up against backup quarterback Tyler, Taylor Heineke. Right. Anybody who's been watching the Giants for the past several months, everyone's saying this is the year we got to know what's good with the quarterback, what's good with Daniel Jones. Right. And for the most part, like last night, he looked all right. Like he didn't turn the ball over, mm-hmm. wasn't no picks. Took a couple sacks. Took there. a couple sacks, but I'd rather him take the sack than, you know, throw force something, sure. throw it. You know, yeah, at least he, he's holding on to the ball. Right. You know what I'm saying? But. Lo, I, I, I preface this question to you because you are, you know, we have watched countless football games together. We've had countless football Sundays, right. football events. Right. There's not many bigger Giants fans in the world I know more than you. Right. Right? Right. You watched that game yesterday, and I said it was a brutal loss, and you don't think it was that brutal. You no, was I mean, like, I, it is I, felt. I think, you know, I think, you know, we came down to the wire. Yeah. And, um, you know, we made some dumbass mistakes. <laughs> dumb ass, well, ass is not good. There you we go. Some dumb ass mistakes. But, are we really know, practicing this right now? Yes, yes, we are. I think, um, <sighs> hey, I think, you know, <laughs> that flag that happened, you know, that, you know, the false start that happened with us. Yes. Yes. Um, that would have won the game yes. if we didn't. Because they missed a field goal. And afterwards. then when Danny Dimes ran for that, I think it was like a 40 yard run. Right. And we had, you know, that penalty. Holding but came back. Whole, yeah, I think so. I think a lot of. Sterling Shepard with the no, miss. The t- was missed, it Shepard? No, it, was like, it? It was, uh, no, it wasn't Sterling. It, it was, was uh, uh, I forgot who it was. Slayton, right? Slayton, Darius Slayton. It was, yeah, End zone. Yeah. So there were a lot of things. So that's why I say it's not brutal. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot of mistakes on our part that, you know, that just shouldn't have been made. I understand. You know, the catch should have been made. False start. Last play of the game. Yeah. You got to be on your P's and Q's. As soon as that happened. You know what I mean? Like, I will read you Lowe's start. text to the group chat. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> it, it, no, I, he was lined it, up in the neutral zone. So it was like. I mean, well, I mean, that's kind of one and the same. Also, yeah. Al- almost. Yeah. Can I read the text you sent to our group chat as soon as the game was over? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just not the second one. Before. Lowe said, and I quote all caps, I hate the Giants. The F word. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted. And then pull that picture up and no, pull up I, that tweet. I tweeted. I tweeted. Um, I'm like, why am I still in this relationship? With the Giants. With the Giants. Uh, are the Giants. Giants have the like, Giants become like the old Knicks of football? No, no, Where, because they're still the new Knicks. No, like the Knicks, still, the, Knicks the Knicks are still the Knicks are still. Let's not act like the Knicks are like yeah, like <laughs> we're like. What you want to do, bro? I say like, don't try to do that. <laughs> listen, <laughs> like, listen, 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 listen. It sounds crazy coming from me right now. Giants have won two but, uh, our, our friend, our good friend, there's low sweet. I don't know why I'm still in this relationship with the Giants. Our good friend, friend of the show, Chris Fox, Christopher Foxworth. Uh, put up a tweet um i i I sent it to you edin and it's attached with a picture a legendary picture that for years (laughs) has lived in infamy okay this lives in my mind my boy zion from complex shout out zion great social media guy for complex sports tweeted Nothing has been the same for the New York Giants since this picture. Since this picture. Bro, let Nothing. me let me let me okay. just say this. Trey song. Let me just the say now this. retired Victor Cruz. Let me just say this. There's nothing wrong. Victor! There's Shut nothing Victor wrong. Cruz. Shout out Victor Cruz, friend of the show. Shout with out black men being on a boat 
And Shirtless. Tim's not wrong with that. Shirtless and Tim's. The Giants what, have. Trey Song? The Giants. What's Trey Song doing? That? What is Trey Song? The Giants doing have been cursed it? for years. Look at the fake years. stuff, Curry. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at this the is not. This stuff. has nothing to do with anything. Is it? No. Because our boy Fox said since this picture was taken, why is Giants, why is Victor? What, what was Victor, that, why are you the was, only one wearing a shirt, bro? <laughs> like, first, like, what's going on? Off, and a Scully. Let's 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 just break down this. No, 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 no. We're not. No, no, no. We're not. We're not going to do this. We have. Talk about no, what's we're not going to do this. We have to. Oh, because they're not. We're no not going to do this. Let's just talk about what's happening. We're not going to do this because I've seen. Are those furry Tims? Those are furry Tims. Look at that. There is. There is four. We're four. not gonna. Yo, we have we have four. And Odell's Tims. We bro. have four championships. The Jets have none. Listen, we the Jets understand. have none. Who's your team? Listen, Jets. Jets. Eden, who's your team? Uh, Giants. Okay, and your team is whatever. Jets. <laughs> Jets now. The Jets. I guess y'all have <laughs> y'all have no championships. We, we, we have one. Damn. You have one in what? In Sixty nine. Joe, shout yeah. out Joe Namath. My hey. guy. Right, cool. That's <laughs> that's cool. My guy. What? What? During the Jim Crow era? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> we weren't talking that's time why. frame. We were, yeah. we were no one specified. Right. <laughs> no one specified. No one specified the time. No one specified the time. Was watching football that's anyway. So, we can no, we can it. do that. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Incredible lineage. They they have championship pedigree. Which makes right. this what drought? <laughs> what drought is this? What is a what, we they are drought? eighteen and forty eight since that picture <laughs> was taken. Bro, we have four <laughs> Super Bowl rings. Eighteen and forty eight. Understand? Since that we picture, we have four Super Bowl rings. I blame Trey we, Song. Yo, we can take what, any picture we want. Victor Cruz, I blame you for yo, wearing a scully and a shirt. When was the last time the Jets made it to the divisional the playoffs? Well, first off, exactly. This uh, is not a Jets conversation. No, right no, it is. We can talk about the Jets in a minute because I'm, I'm, I feel good about my Jets. Yo, I really it's like you feel good about your Knicks. I, I, I like, feel yeah, good about my Jets. Every year, I have a lot of questions now. <laughs> right, the so, more I look at this picture, the more questions I have. What questions do you have? There's plenty. I have several questions. I have a lot. Why do you have the Tim's with the fur? You know these niggas. For several years, I thought that was Nigel Sylvester. You hang out with some of these niggas. He's on the boat. First of all, <laughs> he's, he's not enough, on the boat. He's not like, enough. What are you talking about? I was in the back. I was in the back. <laughs> you were there. probably on the boat. I took the photo. <laughs> like, get out of here, bro. You First took of all, the photo? Don't you disrespect with them. Nigel Sylvester I'm like not that. Just, no, Nigel. That's wrong. That's wrong. the backwards hat. Y'all trying to make it funny. Or but if you look real quickly. Which one did you think was Nigel? The white shirt next to Vic. Like, you look yeah. real quick. I don't look Nigel. He's not fine enough to be Nigel. Nigel, I got your back. Real fast. That man, I... Wait, is it? Anybody, it anybody does who doesn't like remember this photo, this photo was taken on a bye week. Why we're, why, why are we been talking about this? Photo? This photo was taken hilarious. because this photo was taken on a bye week. <laughs> I took it when the New York Giants Four were heading championship ring. We're, we're heading good. to Lambeau we're Field <laughs> to play we're against good. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in a we're playoff good. game. All right, cool, and we lost. And this is what they were doing. And this is what they were doing. <laughs> and we still have and four championships. When we're this good. photo was taken, I remember. I remember we're four. We're good. Listen. We're You're good. Not Let's changing the subject, okay? All I'm saying is <laughs> the state of New York City football. Including the Jets. Including the Jets. I'm not I'm not bro, saying the yo, Jets are yo, world yo, beaters. Dog, yo, please get the dog. But I love Zach Wilson. Ryder, what are you doing? I'm a kid. Come here, girl. Come here, boy. My fault. Anyway, Ryder, Ryder is gonna be the star of the show tonight. Lucky don't like I, I'm I'm not saying anything against the Giants, all right? You like, are. I, I'm I'm I mean, just stating facts. Nice. I'm just stating facts. Like, they're 0-2 for the fifth season in a row. They've been very disappointing. They've been very disappointing. They took Daniel Jones with the sixth overall pick when you had, so, you had Josh Allen on the board. You had <laughs> Lamar, Jackson. Like, oh, Lamar Jackson on the board. Like, guys who have been <laughs> proven stars, right? We took Saquon Parkley second overall, which a lot of people would have done the same thing. He was a killer in college. Yeah. He was the truth at Penn State. The absolute truth. Right. But... The running back position, injury prone, he got been injured, you know what I'm saying? Like some people will argue like, hey, you can get that same sort of production like much later in the draft. And like that's the same draft that had a ton of great quarterbacks as well that are doing very well. Um, but I don't think the losses on Daniel Jones yesterday. I just think the Giants have just had like some real unfortunate, like just excruciating, just low key oh, right. texting right. and calling and <laughs> screaming at his phone understanding why he why he's still in this right. just, on this uh, functional uh, relationship uh, just like, with the big blue <laughs> has you he's act, giving you chips they've Kaz, given you chips you act as if you don't have the same relationship with the Knicks. i i absolutely do 
All right, so like he does, all right, he does. Let's not he build this up as if it's like this huge, like oh my god, it's the agony, it the is, pain. It was pretty agonizing. No, it that wasn't. Was like they pretty, made some mistakes. That was a pretty bad. <laughs> that, they, they had that. They had that, that late. That wasn't a pretty they bad. They had that late loss. interception with, with uh, Bradbury. It's bad not a, loss no, it's, they lost no, the game. It's disappointing. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Not like they should have won. If they if they lost twenty seven to nothing, that's like that's a pretty bad loss. That's embarrassing. That's a game. That's a terrible. Long. That's a game they should have won. No, I. Why would you? Why would you rather lose twenty seven to nothing? That, that makes no your sense. Ass you didn't nah, I would rather. 20, I, would, I would not. No, listen. I would not rather lose. Question, question, the, the big question going into oh. that game was: Is like Daniel Jones the dude? And that's, like the that's loss the was on him. He balled out yesterday. He balled out. It wasn't mm. on that defense, which we all thought was going to be. You know, you don't got to worry about the defense. They got Logan Ryan, right. Bradbury, Adoree right. Jack. Like they was deep. Right. But you got a dude coming off the bench, Tyler Heineke, who was lighting them up. You know what I'm saying? Our, like, defense, it was, our defense did not prove or show out at all. This is rough. Our defense gave up 20, what, 27 points? Yeah. 29 points? Yeah, to a backup. And now you look, to at, the a backup. Rest, look at the rest of your schedule, bro. We got the Falcons, we got the we got Falcons, Falcons next week. Saint, That's the, the Falcons, dog. Saint. The next four games are the Falcons, Saints, Cowboys, and the Rams. That is Matt Ryan. Stafford. That is Stafford. That's Jameis. That's Dak. You got Mahomes coming. You got Sam Darnold, who looked pretty I, I good. I honestly this year. feel good. You got Brady. You got Brady. You got the Eagles, who, who wait, look pretty all right. Like, wait, I'm, honestly, honestly, I'm looking at the Giants' schedule. The like, honestly, I'm, Listen, exci I'm excited to see Daniel Jones versus Brady. I, why? To see if he has. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a Thanksgiving game. <laughs> to see if I don't, he has Eli vibes. I want zero. Maybe to see if he has Eli vibes. Maybe if, if, he doesn't have Eli vibes. If anybody. Eli vibes. There's been so many folks that was like, the reason why people. The Giants drafted Daniel Jones because they look—he looked like Eli's clone, right? Yeah. <laughs> like he looked—he looks like well, they no, took, no, they took they, some Eli no, well, Manning one, blood well, and one, made a quarterback no. in the lab. Was like, let's give us another one. Daniel has a lot more footwork than Eli. Would yes, have. yes, Wait, one thousand percent. He's way more athletic than more Eli. Man, yeah, what about way that? more athletic. Have yeah, you seen yeah. that run? Huh? That eighty-yard run. That's why I just so said he has more footwork than Eli. Where he tripped over himself. <laughs> he still has more footwork than Eli. You saw that 40 yard run that he had, but our stupid yeah. offensive line. Yeah, that, that holding. Even though I thought the holding call was a little, that was a little a weak much. Hold. They could have let, let, let that rock. He, he, uh, a lot of, a lot especially of the after last year with that, when, he, when he stumbled, I was like, finally, redemption. We, yeah. you know, we, beat, we right? beat ourselves last night. Definitely beat yourself. We beat ourselves last night. Definitely. So that's why I'm not saying, that's why I can't say it's disappointing. Right. It's not embarrassing. It's not. And I can't say, much because by the time this drops, the Jets would have played the Patriots. And I don't gonna know lose. what's going to yeah, happen. So we're not, yeah, they're they're gonna gonna lose. So we're not. Gonna, I'm not yeah, going oh, to that. The Jets are going to get smoked. Yeah, they yeah. played play the Patriots on Sunday. Yeah, against the Belichick. You smoke. know what I got to say about uh, their quarterback, uh, Mac Jones. Yeah, I know you got your your issues yeah, with Mac Jones and and him. Karen Jones. No, stop <laughs> cursing, bro. Sorry. Uh, no, believe it. No, believe it. His mom deserves it. What? Yes. Tell tell the story. I don't know if people remember. Try not to curse. Yes. Can't you can? Yes, you can. No, Not. his mom deserves it. She's a total Karen, a hundred percent Karen. So you sat next to Mac Jones's mom at the last preseason game yes. with, uh, which I didn't know that was his mom, but I figured because of where you we put were two sitting, and two together, right? Where like, we were sitting and yeah. they're wearing his jersey, and I was like, that has to be they they're related. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, the a Alabama couple, jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple that sat in front of us. They did nothing wrong. They just sat in front of us, right? And I guess she couldn't see him. Like if, and if you've been to a football game, you know that no one sitting in front of you is blocking. Wait, didn't your we view. talk about this? Yeah, we did, but it's 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 part of the you know. It's all yeah, no one's problem. blocking <laughs> your view, bro. Mm -hmm. And they just sat down, and she just started pressing them and like, "Let me see your tickets. Uh, I know these aren't your seats, mm. so let me see your tickets." No, show them to me. And I was like, "I, I already told you, I already told you what that was." So you don't work here. Privilege. No, that wasn't privilege. I feel like because y'all were in the friends of family section, I feel like she gave tickets to somebody and sat them oh, there. And she then, was there with her miserable husband. Giving us the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Who looked like like that was nothing to him. Like yeah. I know she's done worse because he was so unfazed. He was just like, she's like Here he she was goes just again. moving when she wanted to go by and letting her do whatever. And I was just like. Well, that's white folks, so. Bro, no, I've never seen a on. Karen in action like that. Well, I got more. Now I have more. Have you seen a Karen? I've seen I've seen plenty of Karens in that. No, I like grew up in Staten action. Island. Yes, <laughs> come on, son. Like I'm like, oh, we got a word for that now. All right, <laughs> insane. But anyway, shout out to the Giants. Hopefully they turn it around. Hopefully the Jets win Hopefully yesterday. The Patriots don't win. Hopefully the Patriots do not win. But Cuts. my goodness, um, let's let's hit the let's hit the rundown real quick, man. Uh, what's up? Look at, look. 
Oh, bro. I said before we hit the rundown, everybody say what's up to Ryder. Look, this is Glow doesn't even like this dogs. is the say less dog. Everybody who gave their yeah. inspirations and for for names and everything. He looks. Low, so he funny. really likes you. Look how comfortable he is. Oh my god. Low wants Low. to not like him so bad. Nah, Low loves dogs. Low Low is like one of those older, like He's grumpy like guys that try. I don't to want like, a dog, and then we and get a dog. The dog yes. up, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's trying to fight it. Don't fight the love, Low. Low, don't love fight him. the love. Look at that cuteness. Oh. He's melting through his heart. Oh, oh, oh. pet him. <laughs> What are we talking about now? <laughs> Pet him. No, bro, it's too early for this shit, bro. It is. It really it is. Is. Oh, I don't talk. Uh, let's jump right into it, man. Tyler the Creator put out a tweet this past week uh, off the heels of Lupe Fiasco dropping a freestyle over Champagne Poetry, right. Drake's intro. Um, Tyler the Creator, who, you know, we had drama on the show, friend of the show, uh, talking about, um, I mean, obviously, one of the albums of the year. You know, call me if you get lost. Incredible album. Right. I think the 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 competition for album of the year has gotten very intense since. Yeah, the year's not over. The year's definitely not over. Yeah. You know, the top of the morning, top of the morning, all that stuff. Uh, but Lupe Fiasco was. I always tell people Lupe Fiasco was my last favorite rapper. Why your last? Your last favorite. He rapper? was my last favorite rapper. I'm confused. Right? Like, oh, yeah, I don't understand it when like before i started like writing at the source magazine and like being around rappers and like getting to know them I and see. knowing what the now industry is now like when i was still like you know posting lyrics on my space and mm. sending you, know, you got to listen to this and like i would sit there and you know uh sit on in line to like get cds autographed all that like super fandomness lupe was my last guy right before I figured out how weird rappers were, <laughs> yo, Lupe was my last favorite rapper. And this tweet said, we didn't protect Lupe. It was we. You know, when people say that, like, you know, protect such the and people. such at all costs, the you know culture. what I mean? All right, so how do you, how do you, how do you protect him? I feel like when Lupe first I dropped, questions too. Lupe was like the second coming to a lot of folk. Right. Like, you remember like the buzz he had? No, with yeah, I, was, drop I was there. And, I was here. Yeah, exactly. Like that was. I was alive. That's I was what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that like, was, all right. Lupe's like buzz was like the beginning of like my sort of like in, introduction into the blogger. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so when I, when new freestyles dropped, when his right. album leaked, right. when, you know, he was on touch the sky, when he got the right. J verse right. and all that type of right. stuff, I was right. all, all over it. And for some reason, you know, whether it was his, 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 his relationship with yay or, mm. you know, just putting out lasers and like how weird it was, or maybe it was, you know, that weird, the fact that he sort of came out around the time where like things were going from CD to digital. And there was that weird space in the middle when blogs was taking over, when, you know, albums was leaking and all that type of stuff. And nobody what really knew how to monetize does that mind. have to do with we? I think he's trying to say <laughs> Lupe should have been much bigger than he was Finally. because a dude that talented mm -hmm. that could wrap his ass off okay. and be able to like make billboard charting hits okay. should be in the same, he should have been in the same way we talk about the the little Waynes, the Kanye's, the you know the people he's of that not era. He's that kind of artist. How so? He's he's, no, he's I, definitely I not a little Wayne. He doesn't mm. have the he's like definitely not a Kanye. Mm. It doesn't take a, it doesn't take away from anything that he's done right. or his artistry. Right. right. He's just one of those guys that was not niche, but like he just had his lane. Right. Yeah. Right. He was he was the, he was the rapper for the nerds. We, we understood that he was the rapper for the nerds. And like obviously, was, like to me, I don't I think feel like that's why Tyler is. Is that what he means by protect? Tyler? Is that I, I, I don't like. What you I'm mean, that protect. too. <laughs> that's why. When you all right, if you, if you, if you yeah. say if we say if you say we need to protect him, yeah. What does that mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, we still, you know, love him as a lyricist. We still honor him. We still right. understand what he meant to the culture. Just as like as we're talking about this right now, right. we're still giving him his props. Still, yeah. Even though he's not one of my favorite artists, I understand who he is. I understand mm -hmm. what he meant to to hip hop. I get it. Mm -hmm. Like, so I don't understand why he said we got to protect him. Like, what we protect? protect more, him. Like, so in when what I, way? When I, when I see Tyler say stuff like that, right? I think I like Lupe was one of those. No, 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 no. I, I don't I, understand. I, 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 I think I feel mean? where he's like, coming from. I think I feel where he's coming from. Lupe is one of those people that I think inspired Tyler. Like Tyler goes out of his of way course. to give 
props to like N.E.R.D. and Pharrell. That's cool, and like but Lil like, Wayne right, when you say like, that, you got to break that down in what sense? Are we talking about putting on a pedestal in regards to sales? Are we talking about top five conversations? Well, are we talking about album? Like, what do we like to protect him in what way? But the protection, like, you're not. That's just evaluating him, you know. No, but like, but like, again, but in what way are we evaluating it? Like, that's that, that's why that's, maybe that's such a loaded comment. Is it possible yeah. he's saying we didn't protect him to like pursue, continue to make the kind of did he go he crazy? Making? Did he? That's what I'm asking. I mean, that's what I'm asking. Like, what? That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's on look, us. That's debatable. It wasn't. I don't, on think, us? I don't think it was something where he went crazy or anything because like that. Because like, that's on us. This it's, infers yo, that this something happened also, that damaged him or like, you know, there was This something. is also the music business. Right. I feel like Lupe came out at a time. This isn't the music friendship. No, I don't even think it has to do with friendship business or anything like that. I think so what does that have to do with? I think there's a, there's a whole class of artists, I think. I think Joe Budden is in that same class of artists that came out around the time. Who? Whatever. I'm just talking about like the area of like the mid 2000s, like the 2004s, 2007s, where like CDs and yeah. album sales was like in a weird place and the internet was like coming around. That's why it was the last CD I bought. There's a lot, there's, there's a lot of people who really in that industry didn't know how to market music. That's why the blogs took off. So That's why a lot is, of people I, took what off. What does this have to do with that? I'm explaining it. I, I understand <laughs> this. But I, I still don't get the correlation. How do you not uh, understand it? You don't think Lupe should have been bigger than he is right now? He wasn't that type of artist. Yeah, but he also but how's went the thing? It doesn't matter what, what area. What type of artist was he? He wasn't. He wasn't he a did. Wayne. He wasn't a Kanye. He wasn't he was, a Drake. He was arguably better lyrically than all those. Yeah, guys. and that's oh, fine. Lyrically. That's cool. I <laughs> yeah. get what it. About, like, Black and that's Thought. why we still talk about him right well, now. Black thoughts. Where's the five nine? We Black still. Th we Black still, thoughs on. Yo, we you still know, revel television every single night. I think he's doing just fine. Yeah. We still revel <laughs> all these artists. Literally, we still understand how valuable they are to the lyrical culture of hip hop. So like that, that protect or that like, oh, we didn't give enough praise. We're still talking about him years later. Yeah. Not as much. I think I, I see where he's coming from and I see where you're coming from. Right. Like, I think for you, you see a guy like Lupe and be like, oh, like when people you are a music head. So when somebody comes and talks about like, you know, somebody's artistry, somebody's lyricism, it's like, oh, yeah, of course, like Lupe's respected, all this type of stuff. But I think a guy like Tyler, who is massively popular who has worked with uh, pretty much all his heroes, you know what I'm saying? Like, he remembers the time when Lupe was popping off that mm -hmm. had a buzz just as big as anybody. He had the Jay-Z, like Jay-Z called him like the next, like great one, you know what I'm saying? Like he blew up off a Kanye classic record. Lupe didn't want, you know what I'm like didn't want that. It's, like, it's, yeah. almost like, it's, almost yeah. like, it's almost like Nas. Did Nas know? didn't want that. Okay, 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 okay. You know what I mean? But we know not what Nas is capable We're watching Nas re-evolve right now. Mm -hmm. but Lupe ain't want that. Mm -hmm. Lupe ain't care for that. Lupe is like- Lupe and Nas he's do not care. He's a samurai swordsman now. And like. Lupe and Nas do not care for the side of hip hop, like the, the business side of hip hop. Yeah. I don't know if it- What's up, buddy? You good? Yeah, she, he don't like what you're saying either. It's like, uh, <laughs> I'm just Lupe saying, Nas like, <laughs> don't, they don't yeah, care for the they, they don't care for the business yeah. side of hip hop. Not now, Nas that's gets right. it. Now, but that's the right. funny thing about it, though. Like people look at Lupe like a race to five nine or like a black thought, but like Lupe sold a hell of records. Like Superstar was a big yeah, Superstar was a that. big song. Like Lasers went like double platinum or something. That like That was a like, label decision. All right, that was but a that's label. Still, thing that's still his joy he doesn't like want it like yet. the show goes on huge song superstar yeah, but he don't want to do that no more. kick push huge song touch the sky he huge don't, song yeah. like albums? these are huh albums i love his albums like to I me love, the cool but to classic you. album you know what i'm saying so i'm saying like we gotta protect him like classic what are you talking album. about these albums are oh, incredible yeah these albums are dope so i'm saying like we gotta protect him protect yeah. him from what I feel like he's I feel one like of those. He didn't want he like what you said. He just didn't want. That's all I'm saying. Most rappers want. I personally most think. Artists. I personally think a dude as big as Tyler can introduce Lupe to a whole new audience in 2021. I don't think he wants. That. He doesn't want. I that, don't know bro. if he does If Lupe wanted that, he would have did get, it. Yeah. If Tyler wanted that, I think he should. I think Tyler should have put Lupe in the album. Like you, you believe it that Lupe much? Lupe probably didn't want it. Lupe doesn't <laughs> want it. Yeah. Like he does not he want, want this. It. I think he loves the. I think the he understands artists, the like, business side of it, and he's like, "Yo, that's that's tiring." Right. right. That's like that's exhausting. He that's why like, Nas is not as big as like a hove or whatever. That business shit is exhausting. I mean, I don't know if Nas is isn't First as big all, as Hov in the business. Nah, Nas like, had opportunities to be 
Nas is not no slouch when it comes to the business right. either. Now, now he's not. Yeah. Now he's not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm saying back then. I'm not right. talking about right now. Obviously, we see what Nas is doing with the investments. Right. The, you know the business. Like we see it. We mm -hmm. respect it and we get it. Back when they were coming up. Back when it was him and not oh him and Jay mm -hmm. going back we and don't forth. Talk about Nas like and, that. <laughs> I'm sorry Nas wasn't as business savvy as Jay was when they were coming up lyrically yes he was superior to Jay yeah, yeah. but yeah Jay was just a little bit more business savvy the marketing he got all of that okay. and even Nas had Steve Stout in his corner and that's still true. didn't want to do certain shit that's true that's true that's true you see what I'm saying now he gets it now he's like oh snigga kingpin mm. but it's like I don't think Lupe wants that and I don't I think know. Nas wanted that either I don't well, think we'll Nas see. cared for. I think Lupe responded to Tyler and said, you know, like, I'm good. Like, you know, I'm living good. Yeah, wife, like, they're kid. good. Like, yeah. Like, and it's not like, I appreciate and I'm not saying, out, and I'm not but, saying on a, on a stance of like, yo, these niggas right. needed or just uh, whatever the case was. Like, mm -hmm. Niggas are just good where they at. Okay. Lupe yeah, is good go. where he's so at. So here's the response. I'm, I'm still, still here, here, fam. LOL. I'm happy. Family good. Life is awesome. Good, Make good. my little money doing shows to fund my little side hustles. Join the Illuminati. Pornography is better than it's ever been. <laughs> bro, he don't, yo, he's <laughs> good. Prophecy. That's what I'm saying. Lawsuit settled. Booty muscles look at 25 he again. Yo, he don't uh, yo, he's solid. Good. He care. He doesn't care. You know, you know how I know he's doing better than what he said? Little money. Little money. Yeah, little exactly. Bro. Little sounds. He's good. He's probably like a quiet investor in something like massive that we're not even That's talking about. Hell, bro. Yo, he's, you know he's, he's in a different world. Leave Lupe alone. We love Lupe. We appreciate what Lupe has done for the culture. That man doesn't need what's going on right now. I think, I, I think, I, I so think that's why I say, that's why I get confused when Tyler says, yo, we need to protect him. Protect him from what? Right. He said, I'm good. I man. feel you on that. I think, I think, the booty muscles look 25 again. The booty muscles. The booty muscles look 25 Protect him again. from what? Oh, that man right, is good. Shout out to Lupe. Shout out Lupe, man. My last favorite rapper. I can't wait till he drops another, uh, another good. project. He's the house so fine. Sounds like he's doing great. Yeah, Sounds like he's doing good. Speaking fun. of people doing good, uh, Versus was this week. We're getting some mm -hmm. fat Joe versus Ja Rule. Yeah. But one thing that came up that I think is pretty interesting, especially given how this last Versus went, you know, uh, I thought I thought Joe and Ja was cool, but it didn't have It, the, didn't, ma it didn't matter. It was, it was missing that mm, You know what I'm saying? They, I didn't think that was a good match. It was missing that mm. Uh Kevin Hart, oh well, my fault, Cat Williams uh, just had an interview where on a hypothetical versus battle with Kevin Hart and saying, quote unquote, it's almost cheating for me to go up against Kevin Hart. He said something about like, I only got two jokes that would, you know, that would, that would crush him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. We've done over a year and a half of verses with musicians. Right. Is it time? No. For a comedian <laughs> no. snapping battles. Yes. <laughs> like, no, you wouldn't tune in. No. You uh, wouldn't tune no. in. No. Thank for you, Cat Ed. Williams Thank you, and Kevin Hart Thank snapping you. on each other. No. I wouldn't tune in for Cat Williams and Kevin Hart. Snapping on each other, wait, maybe. Wait, oh, like, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That, like, that, that, that becomes... All right, so that's wait, like Wildin' Out. That, yeah, the, yes. Watch yeah, exactly. out. So is this a yeah. roast battle? Or is this like shit. roast battle? For, or is this them like rehashing their old bits? I love... Actually... Kevin Hart, when he hosted that roast, was hilarious. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, what is it? Is it a roast or, or is it a versus, battle? Right. Like, what is it? Those are so two things. Like, so what is it? So well, there's two things, harder. right? I don't know if they're going to do... I hope they don't do... If they do it like this, I don't want it to be on to my head. We're going to take, like, our best bits from the past yeah. and, like, battle them and see who gets the most laughs. I think that's... <laughs> I think that would be weird. But... If they do it like on some wild and out stuff where it's like it's Kevin Hart on one side, Cat Williams on one side, and they just yeah. go in and snap, joke, snap so like scary. a snapping battle like in like in the schoolyard or something like, like that. I would watch, I would pay money to see Bro, that. Everything yeah. does not have to be a competition. Yes, it does. It does. That's what verse is about. Yes, is. <laughs> no, I'm, saying, I'm saying everything. I, I don't want to, I literally don't want to see it because I feel like this is way more personal than it should be. I don't think it's not personal. No, I, I, I definitely think it is. I think every comedian has a disdain towards Kevin Hart. I think every comedian, wow. every every comedian I know, I, I think all comedians I think are inherently lot, jealous I, I think of other a comedians. Lot of, I think a lot of comedians <laughs> have a disdain towards Kevin Hart because one, he's, he's mega successful. One, He's mega successful. Rich, He's rich, all rich, over. Rich, yeah, rich, 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 rich. Every movie poster. And I think Cat Williams specifically yeah. has a disdain towards Kevin Hart, which is why that's what he said. Oh, it's like cheating for me. I don't think it's that. I think No, Cat I Williams, definitely think it's that. I think Cat Williams is a guy who's like very, you know, short. I definitely himself. think it's that. And I think in if it's in a if it's in a snap battle, like if it's in like we don't we're not we're not bringing up old stuff, it's just like 
Who's going to... No, they're, who bring, can, they're, 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 they're bringing the up best? they're bringing up old stuff. That's that's what a battle's about. I that's, don't know. I mean, Nigga, no. Fat Joe did that with Ja Rule. He brought up old stuff. Uh, but ja, that's yeah. No, no, that's, that's what a battle that's is. That's man. Yeah, like, it's... it's, it's, it's I, think at the, I think at this point, everybody knows, like, you know, when it's versus, like, we're putting on a show, we're going to make it seem like we don't like each other. But at the Bro, end of the he day, didn't have to say, yo, I produce Candy Shop. You didn't have to say that. Well, he, you didn't have sure. to say that. So imagine, imagine what Cat Williams is going to say about Kevin Hart. I Imagine. Know. And you're I telling me you wouldn't watch it? I want to know. Bro, I don't, I don't need to see that. You're I, telling me you wouldn't watch that? Yo, maybe I'm old and maybe you're I don't care for the cattiness. Bro. I'd watch it. I maybe I don't know. care for the cattiness. Maybe I'll just I like don't this. think it's catty. It's very catty. If you're a comedian, bro, like I feel like the first, I don't know, like I'm not no stand-up comedian, but like I know people who have gone on to be stand-up comedians and most of them started snapping in classrooms, being yeah. class clowns, making yeah. fun of the too teacher, talkative. making fun of like Mr. Talk talkative, all, all that type of stuff. I Chokester. feel like that's the purest form. Cat Williams, Cat Williams is a different kind of comedian. Okay, so like, who would you put against Cat Williams? Then? Nobody. Nobody? I said Mike so Epps. Cat, no, Cat, Cat Williams is very Mike disrespectful. Up. Mike Epps. Mike Epps versus Cat. Cat Williams is very disrespectful. Cat Williams is very disrespectful. He is very disrespectful. And Kevin Hart can't be? No. I, I think Kevin never, Hart can't be. We've never seen, no. We I, think he has nah, to be. I don't mean he can't do Kevin Hart, I've never seen Kevin Hart in that life. First yeah. off, Kevin Hart's rich. And that's why. No, when no, you're no. richer than somebody, that's you can really embarrass them. No, no, no. Not like you think. Not like you think. Kevin Hart. That's why Kevin, yo, that's why Kevin's so likable. Kevin has never gotten the bad side of anybody. Oh, yeah. no, bro. Oh, no, you no, ever no. seen that video of him like snapping yeah. on Meek Mill? Like, and all those, and all his rapper still, dudes that was, or whatever? That was, that was still funny. Yes. That wasn't disrespectful. He nothing can, he said, no. Every comedian nothing, can get disrespectful. Every comedian can get disrespectful. That's why they're comedians. He's, and he's never done it. He can, I think he Kevin has never done it. He hasn't I don't done think it he can. He's never, that he's you've never seen. Done it. I don't know. Do you see his documentary on Netflix? I've watched all of that. He's been very disrespectful to his people in his own circle. Yeah, but that was like, that was honest <laughs> conversation. That wasn't like, that wasn't comedy. I don't know. That was like, that was like real life situation. I don't know. You know, you, how many stand-up nah. comedians do you know? A lot. A lot of a lot Bill of Burr is more disrespectful than Kevin Hart. No, but I'm saying that but but I'm that's like, his, that's how you don't watch Bill Burr. Yeah. Well, you, you, I don't it's, watch it's Bill Burr. Bill Burr is he's, no, no. he's a it's thousand different. percent. That's his, he's a thousand that's, percent more disrespectful than Kevin Hart. Come on, bro. Yeah, like, but you, you, you know, know. Yeah, but that's his well, sense of comedy though. It's different. Comedy and it's sense of like I'm Bill Burr. That's Bill Burr. Kevin Hart comedian. Kevin Hart, yo. But Kevin out of Hart, all that's the, not Kevin out of all the years, way, we've though. not seen a hint of Kevin Hart being disrespectful. He can be, though. Just, How? How do y'all know? But Wait, he, what? Where? TV, I'm TV, saying, I've never seen Kevin Hart actually be disrespectful in his comedy. Have you ever seen him on, like, uh, NBA on TNT? Yeah. 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 That's like, jokes. That's like jokes. That's what like, this is. Bill Every Burr, comedian yo. is disrespectful. He's never offended anybody. Oh, my God. How you know? That's, I've watched all his shit. He, he tries uh, not to. I, 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 I mean, I'm gonna try very hard not to. He tries <laughs> very hard not to defend people. I'm gonna have to try very that. hard not to. Offend I think. People. I think now he does, but like nah, cause he's got I've way watched, more. To I've lose. watched. I've he watched. He said from the beginning he didn't want to split the crowd. He got canceled and not and like was taken off from being. No, he got no. He got canceled because of that was for things about homosexuals. That was yeah. That wasn't something like he was joking about. That was something like that. But that was his joke back then. You know what I'm saying? So even even then that wasn't disrespectful. Is Kevin Hart funny to y'all? Yes. Is Kevin Hart funny to you? As a personality. I didn't, Kevin Hart's funny to you? Yeah. Kevin Hart funny to you? As a, That's exactly I like, what I, like, I said. Yeah. I said I like his stand-up that. is not funny, but when I watch him interact and do roast yes. and stuff, he's hilarious. Yes. But I do not, I'm not person, a fan yeah, of his as a personality, stand-up, yeah. but I feel like if I was around him, I'd be laughing. Like when time. he does cold as balls, I think it is, with Old Spice? That's yeah. funny. Like yeah, that shit's funny. Yeah, yes. like the, the, uh, funny. the thing funny he did when on Peacock with Snoop natural. Yeah. Yes. for the Olympics was hilarious. And first of all, when he roasted Snoop on the roast, yes, it was hilarious. First of all, he roasted the rock. I don't talk about he, he was like, the, yeah, he roasted yeah, the rock. Yeah, but he like that's like, he he roasts people you love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I think the way Lowe is coming from is like on some Cat Williams will end him. Like back, yeah, like Cat Williams will like make remember, you we all saw the video with the lady on the radio station talking about like the weave and the hair and like all that. Like I haven't heard from that lady since. Like I was like <laughs> Kevin Hart would do Kevin Hart would like, Kevin Hart has more to lose. Kevin Hart would But not if do somebody that. disrespected Kevin Hart, come on. Yo, niggas have been disrespecting Kevin Hart for for a long time. No, if somebody did time. that in front of like, I feel like he would snap back. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think Kevin Hart has that mm -hmm. disrespectful bone in his body. He has to, but I think he will have to. If I mean, I think he versus I, battle. He, he might. You know, what I'm like, we're not. I mean, this is hypothetical. Why not? Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. Hypothetical. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. think I don't we know it's probably not going to happen. Let's just be hypothetical here. But we can still be versus. Yeah, I how 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 do, how do you grade how do you grade these? How do you grade a, a, a comedic? 
laughs, bro. Why, just why, like, why, the is volume of laughs? No, or just like, like in the, the first claps? battle of like music. Like, like, he had more, he had more jokes. Wait, controlled no. the crowd. I, like, I did he have this. bigger songs than the dip set? We don't know. That's debatable. But when you, you can't debate how he had that crowd in the palm of his hand. Actually, That's the same thing with the comedian verse. I actually think it's no, easier. It's not, it's not the same. Bro. Actually, it would be the same. It's not the same because everyone laughs at different stuff. No, everyone, it would be the it's same. It's not. Though. You can't. It'd yo, be like, who has more jokes? There's no way. You not, never watch a roast? There's, did you judge it? Yeah. yeah I'm like, like, actually, you, can, you kept score? Absolutely. Yes. You can, you can yo, see. Yo, yo, shut up. Yo, like, it's shut obviously, up, there's up, not going to be like winners and losers or whatever, but like you can see. That's the point a of crowd a verse. shifting. You can see a crowd reacting. It, obviously, everything they say is to be reacted. Like, if he says something whack and there's no response. No, I understand it. <laughs> no, you're I, you're I, clearly I losing. I understand it. I understand it. I'm not, I'm just not into watching or keeping okay. score of a comedic battle. I'm not I'm not into keeping all, score yeah. of it. I think I think it'll be interesting to see how versus evolves. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to evolve into to, to comedy. Why wouldn't it? Why why it? why would it? Why, why wouldn't it? I think if I'm if I'm on the do you, I don't know what do you know understand how much ego is involved in that? It's just as much ego it's as not, it no, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. It's you not. kidding me? It's not. You don't think there's ego involved no, when the, the no. rappers go up against each other? I think with comedians, I think it's way more personal. No, you don't think it's personal with the artist? You're not, Eden, do you, like, you saw how tight Fat Why Joe was getting Eden? when he was playing his like super duper street records that nobody was responding to, and then Ja Rule was coming back with playing like "Put It On Me" and everyone's going nuts. Nah, I just don't. I you don't, don't think I don't, that was personal. I don't. I don't see. I, did you not know that was going to happen? Of course, happen. of course, of course. I don't see the value of a, a comedic versus. I don't see the value of it. I don't it's see. I don't. No, no, no. I'm. No, that's not disrespectful. I'm just saying I don't see the value. Like, what do you get out of that? Where's the nostalgia? Like, we like what? It, what is it? Like, what are we getting from that? So I think it's the what you're like saying is person. like because like now like because now like we have to go back to like uh, Eddie Murphy or like because that's what Versus is built on. Mm -hmm. Versus is built on legacy, mm -hmm. right? I'm not. We're not talking about artists that are out right now, right? We're talking about if we compare it, we're talking about an Eddie Murphy, or okay. uh, a uh, Richard Pryor mm. or a, a Bill Cosby, you know, whatever. We're talking about, like, that's what Versus is built on, legacy right. acts. I'm not, I don't need niggas from, like, right now. We to understand be battling. that. I'm saying, like. So that's why I'm like, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit the same way. So you don't way. think, just, you, so you think Versus is just gonna be like this forever. It's never gonna evolve. They're never gonna expand it to anything. I mean, I As we get older, I'm sure it will, but all right. So, so what? We're, that's e that's the easiest transition. The easiest transition is to comedy. It's comedy, like art. Like right, you can't have all right. So uh, what I'm saying, you have to no. So what I'm saying, <laughs> wait like, a minute. Actually, they what I'm no, no, no. What yeah, I'm saying is, they, 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 they had a highlight. Hold versus. on, maybe highlight. AI versus Marbury. Yes. Yes. No, that's <laughs> something like wait, that. Not, wait, Madden actually did do an NFL versus. Yeah, with did versus. we hear about that? Yeah, no. that was the Super Bowl weekend. So it was right, like, of course you did. Like you're in that world. But the correlation to versus is celebrating legacy acts. You can definitely. You cannot do that. We did, yo, we did Babyface and Teddy Riley. Okay. So, all right, correlate that to comedy. Who are we going to do? Cats. Tell me. Cat yes. Williams and Mike Epps. Cat, no, not that's not, budge. it's not the I know he's not going to budge. He's not going to budge. It's not the same, bro. He's it's not, not, it's not those, those aren't, they're not legacy acts. Hating with love. They're not, they're not a Babyface and Teddy Riley. Wait. They're not Ronald Ozzy and, and Earth, Wind, and Fire. To they're you, not that. bro. <laughs> like, Wait. to Dude. you. All right. Like, Wait. there's All right. plenty of people who are huge to Who? Comedy. Who? Tell me. Give I'm me legacy saying, act. Every time Wait. I say Give me legacy act. Wait. They're not this. They're not that. Wait. I'm like, what do you mean? Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence? Wait. You want to see that? Those are the only people you're talking about. They're mass. These are legacy. I'm talking about, I'm not saying, I know. I understand there's like a lot of stand-up acts. I get that. I'm talking about legacy acts. That's what Dave Chappelle. Who? Who? Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. No, they're not legacy. First of all, how right. they not what? legacy? What's a legacy? Actor? Wait, wait, wait. What? Hold What's on. Legacy These actor? are both. Just, hold on. What? What do you mean? No. What? Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr. Well, I don't know about that. That's so what's that, a, what's a legacy the, act to you? That's not all right, a legacy. All right, there? all right. Compare. No, I mean, like, what does it no, mean? No. Not like artists. But like what? No. Does, compare. What all right. Compare. Compare. Um, Teddy Riley and and Baby. All right. No. You're yeah, you're yeah, sp baby. you're speaking on verses of. That's what I'm a certain, not, not baby face. I'm sorry. A certain way that it's been produced. It's like we're gonna get these artists that's, what I'm that's going to play to. their old song that's and say I'm who has a better to. joint. Right. That's so the way I'm saying it is like if they have a versus battle, it'll be a roast battle. I where agree. it's like we're not gonna play our old We're not gonna play our old Just call it a roast. It's called a roast no, session. Yeah. Don't, don't call right. it versus. Yeah, whatever it is. Why haven't they done it? Why haven't they done it? 
Oh my god. Why haven't they done it? Well, that's, the what, that's, what, that's what we're that leading to is though. that they should do it. So it, you need verses to tell you y'all should be doing a, a roast? It's a good concept. I mean, especially the it's digitized It's been a concept ver- for years. It's just a, it's but just like just actually a way executing it, no one has executed it. Runs the culture. The like even the idea Listen. of pitting artists together like that in a live format digitally for everybody to see now in live format in person. Yeah. But now let's just I do it with me. I honestly think Kevin Hart's the most likely person to do a verse. He's not going to do it. I think, I think the fact, I think they will take, as, as comedians, I think they will take the whole act of it and make it a joke. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I can picture Kevin Hart coming in with, like, a hoodie on. Yeah, all these people yeah. behind him, like, yo, like, 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 you know, like, like, yeah. like, 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 I don't, don't want to, like, how that, are you that's not, funny. How do you not, that's how do you already not get, funny. Just that, just imagining <laughs> yeah, the casual set like, is funny. No, you don't, you can't, you can't it's see hilarious. that? You can't see that, see like, it. that being the natural Kevin Hart, I want to see it. Yeah. You don't watch enough Wild and Out to see, like, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like Wild and Out. I mean, it's been on for 20 years. A lot of people like That's cool. I'm very the classroom. successful. What's, what's your favorite it. Wild and Out little segment? What's my favorite lo- Wild and Out segment? I like the classroom. I we like, really um, used to do that in the classroom. Shout out Emmanuel Hudson, the the uh, the E man, 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 yeah. man. When he comes <laughs> with the referee and he's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 and then like when they stop, it's like, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and in the cla- I like in the classroom too because we used to do that, so it's so yeah. like nostalgic to me. Yeah. Where it's like you just start roasting people in the classroom. Come on. Lo, you didn't roast nobody in the classroom, bro. You didn't get no roast battles. Did you get oh, you roasted in the roasted. classroom? Yeah. That's why he's back and forth. I'm a that's listen. I, mean, I know you got roasted too. Listen, man, I used to roast back though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I say you got the roast hair me. in your chest. Rose, I, 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 Rose, I know you. I, I know you got roasted for your voice. So like, I know. No, like, I didn't hey, actually. That was, that's the last thing I got roasted for. All right, let's jump into the <laughs> next subject. Obviously, uh, <laughs> we're talking about versus recapping Fat Joe versus Ja Rule back in the Hulu theater, Massa Square Garden. Same scene of the. They return to the scene of the crime, Dips Up versus Locks. I've seen your tweet about how Versus should just be New York artists now. I kind of take it back. <laughs> oh, damn. I kind of take it back. Oh, like, delete tweet? I, I need to delete, delete I don't, tweet? I don't, you know, I only, I only delete tweets not a mess of a bag. Anything else, I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is But anything else, like, you I know. I agree with you, because that energy is just. The different. energy is different. That's why I said it. It wasn't so much about like, you know, I want, you know, just to see New York artists do this, this, that, and third. I want to be like, all right, well. The energy that the locks and Dipset brought, the energy Fat Joe and Ja brought, like, I think. It for so long versus has been treated as like a celebration, which is cool and it's great, and I understand it. But I just love when they're like, yeah, like nah, I'm better than you. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I got more hits. Smack than you. DVD. You know, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you'll never see like big artists in in a URL battle or a Smack DVD battle, and that's like the closest thing we'll get to that. So that's why I like the competitive, the more competitive, like you know versus then they're like oh it's a celebration and we're gonna perform together and yeah. i'm like that's cool that's great when we was a pandemic cute. and i needed something to laugh about and smile about now i'm just like nah man i want i want uh, yeah. people to want smoke yeah. i want people to be like you know Same. even if y'all kiss and make up afterwards like i want it to y'all feel be like a real life. What, yeah of course about, like, i think it should have been 50 and ja what about <sighs> ah, man that'll, 50, that'll, that'll never 50 happen. gets that'll a lot never, of people out of here happen. in the verses that'll never happen. Happen. but 50 just that'll never happen 50 always takes it too far that's what makes it takes it too far <laughs> y'all, 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 three love, greatest y'all. trolls of all time: Lil Nas X, y'all love chaos, six nine, fifty cent. Y'all love <laughs> those. Are, that's the holy trinity of hip hop trolls, <laughs> y'all. Yo. They always take it too far. <laughs> y'all love it's chaos. Hilarious, bro. Yes, bro. Like I could have pictured Fifty just doing the most. I don't even. I, how you think he would have walked in if that would have been him? I think Fifty. First off, like. 50 has no filter. That's the thing. Like, you could tell Fat Joe could say certain stuff, but like he he knew there was a line yeah. when it came to Jack because that's his man's. Right. I don't think I think 50 will just plow through <laughs> that line. Bro, that's not that'll everything. never happen because like that's real life that's shit. Real yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's real, real life. I mean, Gucci shit. and Jeezy was real, but they Yeah, but like, yeah, but like, that 50, like, but 50, 50, <laughs> 50 has said it. He's like, I'll never be friends with him. I'll right. never I collaborate. Never, I'll I never. I would never be in the same room with somebody who who bought the front row seats of my concert. I'll never be in a front so row. So they would be empty. Somebody who's So you spent me. your money on me yeah. to make me mad. No, I wouldn't mad. do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it if I was 50. It's... If I was Jawa. Like, what do you, what do you have like maybe, like the only verses I can see 50 doing is like one against like Eminem or somebody. Like somebody he's somebody cool with. Cool. That would, is that Eminem going to do a versus? Probably not. 
Like, you know that would I mean? be whack. 50 and Eminem? We didn't say it'd be whack. He said that's the only one. That's, he, yeah, that's the only one I can see him doing it. Why, why would he do that? Because he's friends with him. That's his friend. Why not? 50 don't but, like I, I, but what do you gain by that, though? No, I'm just saying. I'm I just like, what I'm just like, hypothetically. Like, I can't you know, see how we 50 talk, doing it with nobody. Like, I'm on Cass Wave. Like, I can't see him doing it with nobody he's not cool with. Because he's going to disrespect him. All right. So, all right. Getting past the cool part, what does he gain by battling Eminem? I think that 50 Cent had just on a high versus. height. I think 50 Cent's, I think 50 Cent's music aged better than Eminem. And I think that'll be, even they're, though Eminem's they're, they're two completely, completely artists. different artists. Uh, they're not that different. Yeah, they are. They're not that different. Did it ever yeah, they it? are. What are you talking about? Did they say- 50 and Eminem are completely different. They're not that different, bro. They're not that different. When we talk about wait, lyrical wait. artists, who do we mention? Do we mention 50? No. I mentioned them. Do we mention Eminem? Yes, we actually do. Yeah, okay. absolutely. A lot of people do. Jake said, okay. If you're My talking bad. about the early 2000s and people who ran that era, you can't talk about it without 50 Cent and Eminem. Period. Well, that's not In what different so categories. Doing, but even today, they're I not in different. Then, they, how, how are they in different categories? What are the categories? Explain to me. Lyrically. Lyrically, how? Yes. Party wise. It's, anthems. Eminem has no anthem. Eminem has no party song. Wait, Eight Mile? To you, maybe. Mom spaghetti. I love. Wait, to the white boy. That's yeah, okay. Racist? That's a white boy anthem. Shit. It is the white boy anthem. What what anthem does what anthem does Eminem have as big as in the club? As Please much tell as, me. Even though I just said Fifty Cent's music aged better than Eminem. Yeah, that, I'm not. I'm not. Be, no, I'm not, be, not talking. About it would that. behoove me to act like I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the similarities between these two artists. I'm not talking about whose whose music aged better. The similarities. Please tell me We're how they're the same about artists. Our verses. Right. And why would there's it- been so many verses with artists who don't have similar music? Like Ludacris and T and, and, Nelly. and Nelly don't make similar music. They were just they came out, out around the same, the same time. time yeah. So it made it interesting. Well, it's a verses. closer gap. Same thing it's with closer, 50 Cent and it's Eminem. A, it's a closer gap with Nelly and Ludacris than it is with 50 Cent and Eminem. I disagree. They had the same way, producers. Well, way, they came out around the same time. Okay. They were making the same sort of music. Well, they, were were they, were music. they were. They were. They were not making the same sort of music. No, they weren't, about? bro. What are you talking you, you, about? You, 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 As a music head, I'm dying. You, you serious? Were not the same music. Were both, uh, just because they were Eminem doesn't have the same They were under the same umbrella. Yes, you're right. Because Eminem have an in the club record doesn't mean they were both not making songs that were speaking to the same fucking audience. They weren't. me. Yes, yeah, they yeah, were. I mean, Eminem, and one, Eminem is not a mixtape artist at all. I'm not talking about mixtapes. I'm, talking, ta- about the I'm early- talking about the similarities and the comparisons between these two artists. They're very, very different. Eminem is a lyrical monster. Yes, he is. Okay. Thank you. Em- I, hold on, I can acknowledge that. that. I've Let's never heard 50 of Cent is nice not a Eminem. lyrical monster. I appreciate that. 50 Cent is a... Uh, a hit maker. Think, Eminem think, is not I a hit maker. I think you're severely underestimating 50 Cent's I'm not, lyrical ability. Bro. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm not. not lyrical, but he's I'm, not. On the level of Eminem? Eminem? No, oh, he's so nowhere near that. Battle. Yeah. It's it would be a, boring as hell. It would not be boring. Like, what? No, it'd be nah. entertaining because 50's entertaining. Oh, all right. Based on the commentary, yes. On the music selections? Nah. What is, all right, so, I okay, all right. Disagree. Let's, let's, all right. So, let's, a 50 Cent and Eminem so battle would be boring? I would love yeah. to you say that the music doesn't, doesn't vibe with you, but to say it would be boring? It would not be boring. I just sat through a boring. Fat Joe and Ja Rule battle, yeah. and I'm sorry, I love both of them. I was half asleep by the middle of that joint. Bro, so, 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 so all right, so 50 Eminem, Cent, yo, 50 Cent, pit, he plays Pimp. Right, he plays P-I-M-P. <laughs> what, Eminem plays Stan? My name is? No, I mean, Wait, my name is? No, Eminem got Like, what Eminem do we got? got several records. All right, so, all right, yes, give me, me five. I mean, God, give me five. think about it. Are we talking about features, too? Because I, lo- I still listen to Renegade, and that's Andre. a 50 track. Renegade. I don't want to hear Renegade on the versus stage. You don't. You don't. <laughs> a lot of people don't either. You don't. It's a 50 track. You don't. No, you pull out, you pull out Renegade no, and be I'm like, hey, what, there's only a handful of people who body Jay Z on the record, and I'm one of them. And I want to hear that. Patiently waiting. That's the 50 track I'm talking about. Okay. Like, I'm we understand, it. like, maybe that's why. That's, that's one. That's, that's their collaboration. No, no, no. I'm, I'm on, 
Eminem got. You, wanna, you really want to <laughs> watch Eminem on a I first like one? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. You talking about a snooze? You talking about a snooze fest? Yo, one thousand percent. Oh, you tripping? It wouldn't You're tripping. bugging. You hate Eminem? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, yeah, I can't. Yo, the, I can't the, wait to. I can't. The, I can't wait to clean out my closet on a versus stage. Why you pick that one? Yo, get out of here. We're gonna obviously pick the records that are like the least successful. We're talking about lose yourself. We're talking safe for the moment, bitch. I'm gonna kill you without me. Like you're talking about mass. Like I understand Eminem. But if we're talking about I collapse, we're going to talk about Eminem. I'm not talking about who has bigger records. I'm not even the biggest Eminem fan. I'm but like talking to act about. Like I'm, to I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not saying Eminem does not have like, records. Um, I'm not saying. He's underrated. Why is he so underrated? I'm Why people hate no, him? No, no, no. He's not underrated. He's not underrated. I mean, I'm, I'm, doesn't like I'm specifically underrated. talking about he doesn't get the versus he stage. The versus stage is built for moments. It's built for memory. It's built for like just hip hop competition. I don't think I want to hear Mockingbird, Not Afraid. The we way I am, great. white up, white America. I don't want to hear those records on a the way stage. I am. But you don't, I don't hear care for anyway. It. It's just like I'd rather hear all these records than at least twelve records that Fat Joe played on. Yo, at least, <laughs> yo, at least. I, right. And you know, I was wondering when Fat so, Joe right, went so into go it, to, I was yeah, like, go to Detroit play? and get a you know. Eminem versus Voice of Five Nine. No, I don't want to see Voice that. Voice of Five Nine. I'm just saying. So you're right. That'll make sense. No, <laughs> that would make sense. You say how? How? Thank you. Thank you. How? Thank you. Uh, you would rather see Eminem versus Voice of Five Nine over Eminem? That would make sense. sense. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank. You. thank you. <laughs> but. Yo, Nelly I know I, I knew I wasn't bugging. I knew I wasn't bugging. Fat Joe, I love Joe Royce. Match. I know I, I wasn't love bugging. Royce. I knew I wasn't bugging. Eminem, Eminem is throwing him into the throwing knew, him in the I bushes, dog. Are you I kidding was, me? I knew I wasn't bugging. Are you talking? You are bugging. No, I knew I wasn't. No, you're bugging. No. Eminem and 50 Cent. The revision is Eminem. Which, is, which will make it more fun. Eminem and 50 Cent. No, why not the, Royce. No, not Royce. No. Why the hell? What is he going to play? Why would, I, yo, why would I watch Eminem and 50 Cent battle? Because they'll be entertaining. Y'all tripping. And they on came the out commentary, the same, yes. On the commentary, you're right. The same time. On the commentary, yes, you're right. The commentary back and forth will be highly entertaining. I'd watch it for that factor. As far as the music. It's, it don't matter. No, it don't. What? As far as the, the music, the music comparison? You just bro, spent 20 not... minutes de debating legacy, and you're just completely overriding somebody who has one of the greatest legacies in hip hop right. history. All right. That's why you don't want to see that. Even though. No, 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 no. So you wouldn't want to see the Kevin Hart versus Cat No, no, no. Because there's no legacy. I know. I said that. Eminem would be. Eminem was 50 Cent is boring. No, 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 no. See, like, yo. People who ran the 2000s. You're misconstruing what I'm saying. No. I don't want to see. I don't want to see the comedy thing because I just don't think it makes sense. That's to me. That's that's what I'm saying. So to you, just say 50 and Eminem to you don't make sense. That's what I'm saying the entire time. It hasn't made sense. No, they actually have. A most of the most, of, no, they, it's, like, it's, it's all tell about. Tell me one that didn't make sense. I didn't think tell the last one made sense. Fat Joe and Ja Rule right, didn't no, make well, sense. All right, we talk. All right, give me another one. I didn't watch the the other ones. Okay, so then you have no. Well, have no I didn't watch all of them. So you have no opinion on because, that. All right, cool, cool, no, no, cool. no, I didn't watch them because it didn't make sense. So tell me which one. So tell me which one made Name sense. Them. Go ahead. That made sense. Oh. Tell me which one that so didn't make sense. Oh, that didn't or did? Yeah, she said that didn't. didn't. Oh, tell me which didn't? one that didn't make sense. I didn't think Luda and Nelly made sense. They did because they came around around the same time. They make this, but they were completely different. They make they make the same amount. No, but they were diff. They came out around the same time, but they were completely. Different. <laughs> so Eminem and 50, 50 make no, sense because no, they came out no, of the same time. Does, <laughs> You're not going to agree. Y'all, 50 and Eminem do not make the same kind of music. Nell, Nelly and Ludacris did not make the same kind of music. They make it makes it's closer. It's closer than 50 and Eminem. No, you it's you're, way you're, closer. Even Monica and Brandy didn't make they didn't make the same kind of music. God, like what R and B is bro, the same yo, shit? Yo, come, yo, come sit over here. R and B is the same shit. Rosie, go ahead. Get out. R and B is the same shit. That's what you're saying. Please. My nigga Brady didn't make sense to me. I, who should it who, who should have been? I don't if know. They that announced that, that 50 up to cent me. and Eminem. I'm not watching that. Tomorrow, I'm not. That's gonna be boring. They're doing it in a stadium, bro. 50's gonna win. They're doing it in a stadium. 50 wins. 50 wins. What you basing on? Oh, his first his album. Hits. I'm oh, oh, debating oh, who oh, wins. the G unit stuff. I'm not oh. debating who wins. I'm debating People. you saying it makes no sense. It makes no How does it make no sense? 50 and Eminem <laughs> makes no sense. Yo, it would probably be one of the it most makes viewed. No sense. It'd probably be one of the most It's viewed. lyrical stuff 
against club and radio stuff. That's, that That's it. That's literally it. That it's going to be, we yo, ah, and then it's like, okay, yeah, lyrical. Oh, yeah, oh, oh M's nice. All right. Oh, club shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yo. Oh, M hates his mother. Uh, oh, oh, Jai Oh, my. You bro, we're not, I'm not here for that. I'm not on a versus. I'm not here for that. Just say, I, yo, just say yo, I don't listen no, to Eminem. Y'all niggas, right. throwing, <laughs> y'all niggas just throwing M's names out like, oh, this would like, be fire. Like, like no, no, it don't like, make no, sense. If they came out around the same time, which is no, just like everything. No, you saying that. That's cool. They Every other verse is based off that. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It no, is. It's not I can said, tell you don't watch. You version. literally just said Ludacris and Nelly came out at the same time. And that's no, I said they make. I and said now, they make similar music. M and Fifty do not make similar music. You said they came out at the <laughs> you same just time. Said, they came you out. Just said they, it. All right, they came out. All right, they came around the same time and they make similar music. Okay, Fifty and M do not make similar music at all. And you as a music head is disappointed that you think Wait, that. I bet if you go on like you're bugging. I bet you're bugging. You're bugging. I bet you're bugging. You're bugging. I bet you are bugging. You're bugging. I bet if you go on Apple Music, you are bugging. You're bugging. And you click on Fifty Cent or Eminem, it recommends the other. Would one. you like if you like Fifty Cent? <laughs> yeah. right. You will also like yeah, yeah, Eminem. Cool. But whatever, Eminem has no bangers at all. I didn't see like didn't see, no, <laughs> no one you said. You just sat there was like no, oh, no, 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 no. That's no one said that. No one said that. He wasn't smacking people on guest But you know what's crazy. Crazy. All the time? No, you know what's that's, crazy? That's, you know what? Why, like, why am I, like, am, am I talking to myself? You know. Am I talking no, to myself? No, talking to her, clearly. No, you so know like, what's crazy? So, like, bro, like, am I talking no. to myself? Yeah, you are. You know what's crazy? Y'all watch about yeah. Nicki Minaj. Y'all, 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 y'all can watch the Eminem balls, battles, bro. Have fun with that. Let's yeah. talk you, about Nicki Minaj. You watch Eminem Minaj battles? Frozen. I probably would. Swollen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie. Talk about a snooze. Oh, wow. Y'all, wow. I'd watch I just Eminem watched the snooze. Talk about a snooze. Fest. Fest. I'm sorry. <laughs> talk about a snooze. I just watched a few snooze fests on Versus. They gotta watch Eminem. They gotta shake that thing up. They gotta shake that thing up, Versus. I ain't gonna hold y'all, Versus. I'm halfway through. Outside of, if it wasn't for Jade and 50 Cent and Eminem would shake it up. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just off his Are you kidding? Fucking, 50, 50, 50 what? Cent Eminem that announced they're doing a versus tomorrow. They're doing I'm it in the arena. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching You're not. You're and not. A lot of people are. They're selling out an arena tomorrow. A stadium yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. You kidding me? I'm, no, they're not. What are you talking yes, they about? Would. Okay. What are you talking about? You don't even watch versus. What are you, you talking about? I watch some. You don't think it would sell out? Some don't match up to anyway, me. Anyway, it, it might. Watch it, later. It, it possibly could sell out, but it's not like there's no conversation to have. There's no. There's no. You know, rhetoric of like, yo, who's got the better record? Going to have there's no. You're there sitting is, there saying, no. You're nobody saying nobody wants to watch. I mean, <laughs> you're saying that the records are comparable. Wait. They're, 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 they're comparable. not comparable. They came out in the same time. No, stop the using same that. same argument you just no, have for Ludacris and Nelly. I'm giving you 50 seconds. The gap is closer. They, how? The they came closer. out the same, at the same I'm, time. I'm talking, they're the I'm same talking, label. Talking, the same producers. Then what are you talking, I'm talking about? about that, I'm talking about the, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the content <laughs> of the records with Nelly and Ludacris. They made similar records. Eminem and 50 Cent did not so make Fatso similar records. So and Ja Rule were both making the same records, right? That made sense to him. They came out around the same time. That's the only reason why they did it together. What are you talking about? Who? Fat Joe and Ja Rule. They did not come out the same time. What do you? They were out around the same time. Oh, oh my God. All right, yo, let's talk about Nicki. They didn't come out <laughs> at the same time. We got 10 minutes. Let's, let's, wrap, let's wrap up. Let's wrap up. Like, y'all niggas, like, y'all ball, niggas bro. going, yo, I thought y'all, am I bugging? Yes, you're bugging. When, yo, yo, when is Fat Joe? When is Fat Joe? When is Fat Joe come out? Oh my God. Let's go, come on. Am I bugging? Thank That's you. not what let's, we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what he was popping. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Marshall Matters LP is a 20 year old. Let's go. 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 let us go do they make do, do Eminem and Fifty Cent make the same music? This is like when parents, similar. This, this is, is like when parents question. argue and they do they make kids similar like, music? Hey. Do they make similar? Do they make <laughs> similar music? They both the make same argument you right? made for Nelly and Ludacris for. I said the. Ja I said the gap. Joe. I said the same argument. No, no, no. I said the. I said the perfect comment. Cass, Cass. I said the gap. I said no, no. I said the gap was similar artist. I said the gap was closer in regards to Nelly and Ludacris. Than it is to Eminem Fifty. Okay. I said the gap is closer. Not, I'm not talking about when they came out. I'm talking about the talk style about of Nicki music. Minaj's cousins, friends. Now balls. you want to move on? Cool, let's go. Yeah, because we got five minutes go. to go. He's gonna argue right, about go. this too. Yeah, I'm not gonna. gonna argue, like, I don't this. give a fuck about this. Yeah. She blocked me three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, what
I said her music was whack. <laughs> and she blocked you because of that? Yes. Oh. It'd it be like that sometimes. <laughs> you don't remember that? So now you mad. I'm not mad at all, bro. We got five minutes to go. <laughs> My cousin in Trinidad won't get the yeah. vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. <laughs> now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable like, with your decision. I say all that to say, what's the best lie you've ever told to get out of a wedding? <laughs> 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 get out of a date. <laughs> yes. to cut the what's wedding? the greatest lie you've ever told? Because <laughs> <laughs> to <get out. laughs> I'm like, bro, that is not <laughs> that is not a vaccine. Uh, problem. That's what I'm like. Problem, Come on, bro. like really, we give her. I like, think that's chlamydia. I think that's an STD. I think, I think that's an STD, bro. <laughs> that's an STD. And then she lied about like, yo, the White House invited me to the, you know, to the. Now nah, I'll put it like this. The, the, right, get this, the fuck out of here. I can't baby. believe we're still. I, it's it's weird that this has become like such a story that the White House has chimed in and Dr. Fauci's chimed in and it kind of makes like nigga. She made it to Fox News. She was on with uh, Tucker Carlson, I think, or of she whatever. Made it to Fox News. They're gonna use this, right? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what is this? Nigga. Then she was like, oh, they blocked me on Twitter. Like, no, nigga, like, they didn't block you on Twitter. Some people think that the reason oh. why she's doing all this is to move away from the things happening with her significant other at the Oh, moment. yeah. See, now see. Now see. See that? Now that. Now see. Sense. Now see. Uh, so when I heard that, I was like. marketing? I mean, it's easy to say. street marketing? Strategic. Damn, he said street marketing? Oh, no, no, no. Strategic. strategic. Yeah, like, bro, like, her husband is. <laughs> That's big day, yeah, see? Oh, now it got quiet? If they get low quiet. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, like, her yeah, husband is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. See, like, okay. Bro. Okay, yeah, I mean, like. I mean, hold on, but she can't, she ain't choose her brother. She chose her husband. She sure did. Mm. She sure mm. did. Hey, listen. Rosie like, said it, not me. Hey, listen. Rosie said That's it. Rosie. It's Rosie on Twitter. Nah, nah, we, we go. <laughs> Pat said we gotta clean it up. All right, so let's clean. <laughs> oh, now you wanna clean it up after you drop I didn't even curse. Oh, that's bombs in the end. I didn't curse. Brother. I didn't curse. I'm sure you curse. What? He no, just can't like, clean that up. Real, like real <laughs> one. Like, Kaz, like five Kaz, yo, Kaz will hit us at like three in the morning. Like, hey guys, we can't curse no more. And what oh, did you God. say? Hey, if I can do Apple, I'm like, I'm I can do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Where did you? I also don't drink on Apple. So, like, and what did I say? <laughs> F bomb, capital letters. Oh, hey, let geez. me get it out now. Okay. Oh, good, what? guys. Um, when he said we can't curse, I was like, Kaz, <laughs> I was okay. So we're moving Fine. on from this topic. Yeah, let's just up. move on from this topic. Fine. No, I'm no, not, we're, off, we're off that. We're off. I mean, the swollen balls, like, listen, I hope I'm homeboys are all right. Randy from South Park. Randy from South Park. <laughs> it is really from South Park. Oh, guys, what's the last topic that we Nelly, had? That's actually it. Nelly asking for a hug. Yeah, oh, the, there you go. Nelly became a where my hug at guy at Versus. I ain't mad at him. I cannot be mad at about. Because I'm not mad at <laughs> the Have you seen the shot? If you can see the gif, like, you can tell he didn't even, like, <laughs> he didn't even look like he was walking. He just he glided. He just <laughs> floated <laughs> over to, not nah, the other gif. Keep, keep, keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. If you can find that gif of him or, or go to Jersey uh, to, to Jinx's uh, Twitter. I'm sure he has the video. But boy. Uh, Brandon Jinx Jennings, good friend of the show. He just looked like a sucker. That's all. He looked like a sucker. Yeah, it's Ashanti, bro. I get it, but like, <laughs> nigga, you did that on stage. You I'm don't. Sorry. Don't matter. Nah, Jinx. No, you, look, no, you look like anyway. A sucker. Whatever. We'll find the gift after this. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, you look like a sucker. Ashanti looked great. No, Ashanti look yo at forty. Slide it over there too. Yeah, you look like a sucker. It's hilarious. Look yo, look at look at him. Wait, go on. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, he ran. <laughs> he ran across stage. <laughs> as they're performing, like yo, bro, give it up. He Completely could, understandable. He couldn't wait. He couldn't Completely wait. understandable. Nah, bro, I get give it. it up. I give get it up. Wow, you got to that's man. Not too give bad. it up. But it's got to be. You, you got to hey, give. That's, give that's too much hips in the hug, bro. No, Is that really that bad? You no, got to no. give the booty out. Look like hug. a sucker, gotta, bro. Look at him. <laughs> Why are you holding on to? Her? You got to give her one of these. No, but the arm was high. He didn't. Yeah, go like, the arm was high, which is good. You got to give. You got to keep the arm high. There's rules. She looking up in the air like. I guess you can't, you rules also can't to keep the, your arms out like the that X. for like five seconds. Like There's that. rules to hugging to, the hugging the X, all right? First of all, she First wins off, because he came up to her. Yeah. He came up to her. So you look like she also, she she also deaded it. She's like, listen, I'm booed up right now, but yeah. whatever. But, you know, acknowledge his three on stage. Let's not make it more awkward. Like, it's probably more awkward if they don't acknowledge each other. So I know what she was thinking right that. there. I knew you was going to come up. Oh, uh, gosh. I've seen him for six years. Uh, she hasn't seen him since they broke up now. 
Good. Wow. It'd be like that's a, why he and there was there was no further. He was waiting afterwards. for that moment. Yeah. That's the he professional was thing to do. That's the professional thing to do. Professional. The professional thing. Yeah. You're on this. You're on this stage, bro. <laughs> I was, you're on this stage. You're gonna go sit there and dap with everybody that else. Professional? And be like, how's that professional? You it walked in the middle of a performance. It would be more awkward if <laughs> you he went did. over to her. That's not professional, bro. It would be way more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't be way more awkward if he like just didn't acknowledge her at all. He ain't I seen think, it for I six years. Yeah. After the show was done. We didn't need to see it. We yeah. didn't need to see that. Like we, we ain't, he ain't need to do that. That was for you and her. That was for that was for him. No, that that, that was for that him. Make his ex jealous. He, who make who jump? That's, like, that's, 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 that. that's toxic. That's like, toxic. I don't think it's that. That's it's corny. Like, that's whack. Yo, just, stay aside, yo, stay on this side of the stage. Let her do her thing. She's Keep done it. her thing. All he did was give her a little hug. And then, yo, you and then went walked right the, over to that. You everybody went else in the middle. Of, right. You got to let that, that pettiness go, bro. That, like, that was pettiness. It would, be petty, it would be petty if he completely ignored her. I like haven't seen ex, her bro. for six years. So why? Y'all on the stage, y'all, oh, good to see you, blah, blah, blah. Keep it moving. That's All right, cool. If I didn't see you for six years, seeing you on the stage don't matter to me. That's you, bro. You just gotta like let that go. If I haven't out. seen you for six years, I, I, clearly I don't need them. Oh my huh? God. You're gonna acknowledge them. Yeah, like if you don't acknowledge them, it makes it even worse. Six like, years, yeah. no birthdays, no nothing. Hey, yo, bro, I'm, I'm cool. That's a little extra. Just let it go. Just hey, yeah, yeah let it go and nice don't, which and is don't what cut, she did, and don't cut across stage during a, a a main performance. Let it go, bro. That's not true. It's boring. over. Boring. Not true. I think y'all overthinking it a little bit. It is. And my buck to call it professional though. Yeah, to call like, that yo, professional. It would, be, it would be more whack of him to act like she wasn't yeah. there. No one would have made that any comment. Crazy. Everybody was no. already making comments when she came no on stage. What are you talking about? Any, she, no. The minute she came on stage, I was like, ooh, I mean, they're on stage together. What's going to happen? Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, he went in there with the, with the bigger man, and he went over there, said, hey, good to the see big, you. The kept bigger the man? Yes. Yo, the bigger man? What do you mean the bigger man? In what sense? If you're the person in a relationship, <sighs> if you're a man, it's best Bro, for you bucket? to go over there and be like, hey, good to see you. <laughs> hey, and then keep it pushing. All right? So now he's being disrespectful. He didn't uh, speak to her. Rev this. He's, he this has been another episode <laughs> of Say Less. <laughs> With Kaz, Loki, and Rosie. Yo, do you understand? Make sure I'm... you check out MSGPM every Monday through Friday, seven o'clock. I'm a co-host, Monica McNutt. Low, plug it up. Apple Music, low key. Rosie, Ryder, what's it, good? It's just Rosie, and also yes, no. I don't watch the verses, guys. Like I watch some. So then, y'all yeah, get yeah, on my ass. So then, but y'all get on my ass in these YouTube comments. Jake, you good ski? Good. Good ski. Eddie, you good ski? WTF Media Studios, 265 Canal Street. Appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> Catch y'all next week, people. Y'all take it easy. Peace. <laughs>